Uh, well, I knew even prior to meeting him that he was a very intelligent person. And from interacting with him a lot, I, I know that he's very inquisitive as well. He wants to know exactly what's going on, uh, what is his current situation, what is law enforcement doing, what are other people saying. He's constantly asking questions. And uh, he's also very manipulative. Uh, he uses uh, situations, circumstances, and people to get his way. How effective is he in doing that? Very. He's a good reader of people. He's, he is uh, quick to figure out uh, what makes people tick and what their likes and dislikes are. And he can, uh, he preys on people's ability to trust that people close to, like, people close to you won't harm you. And so he quickly gets close to people and takes advantage of that trust. No, I wasn't always a step ahead of him. He, uh, he is just, he's able to hold on to information till he knows he has to give it up. And even then he will hold on to more information. He knows that we or the public or other law enforcement agencies need from him. So there's never a time that you say, okay, I won against Scott Kimball. That's, it's going to be an ongoing investigation with him probably for the rest of my career. I don't know if I could classify him as a genius. Uh, I know he's very intelligent. Uh, I know that he's very careful. And uh, I know that he plans stuff out thoroughly. So if that's what makes a genius, then maybe so. But. Uh, uh, in dealing with him, actually, he's pleasant most of the time. Um, so uh, as far as the genius classification, I don't know that I can give him that, but I can give you the other adjectives I'm pretty comfortable describing him as. Scott Kimball had, and I'm sure continues to have, a lot of energy. Uh, he was in different places at, at different times with little sleep and uh, he's able to multitask. He's able to, again, get other people to do what he needs them to do, and they're unknowingly assisting him. And so it took us a long time to comb through who has willingly helped Scott, whether it's this check fraud and forgery or even possibly these kidnappings, versus who he was uh, just manipulating to doing his bidding. So that part was very challenging, finding out uh, and again, uh, uh, we circled down to find out that it was only Scott acting in the end. You know, that all these other people, whether it be family members or close friends, were simply trusting that someone they knew well, cared about, and even loved could never treat them uh, like an object or a tool to get something else. So uh, once we were able to figure that out about Scott fairly early on, then uh, the rest of the investigation went a little more quickly.